Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to walk you through adding and removing photos in Roots Magic 3. Now, one of the things I want to preface this whole screencast with is that, like many genealogy applications, Roots Magic does not actually put the photos themselves into your database, into your family file database. It puts links to the files on your file system. So when you add and remove things, all that's being put in and taken out are links that doesn't actually affect the files on your file system. So this is important if you move your uh, family history file database to a different machine, you also have to move the photos and keep them in the same uh, places, the same folder names and all that, same folder structure wherever they end up. Um, otherwise they will not show up. The links will not work in, within Roots Magic. So with that being said, you can see that when you're looking at the pedigree view here, you can see a picture of one of my relatives, George Washington Terry, right up here. And it, I, I find that it adds a nice little bit of flavor um, when I can see the, the faces of my relatives on these cards. So I want to show you how you can do the same sort of thing. And um, it's a simple matter of um, using this Photos button on the toolbar. So I've selected uh, one of my relatives that doesn't have a photo added right now, Victor Lamar Terry. You can see there's no photo here. So I'm just going to click on Photos up here one time. And then in this case, I'm going to be adding a, a photo for the person. So each person and family um, and event and source within Roots Magic has its own scrapbook where photos are put. So in this case I'm going to open Victor Lamar Terry's scrapbook. It's empty. All these photo slots are empty you can see. So what we can do here is um, to add one we can just click the add button and here we've got a drop down that we can tell it what kind of uh, multimedia file we're going to stick in there. Um, throughout this screencast I'm going to be using the example of photos um, but it's important to note, just make a note, mental note for yourself that that can also be a sound clip or a video clip or some other kind of file. In this one, again, I'm just going to be using photos. You can put a date in here, a reference number if you keep some reference number system. And here we're going to um, either, well, in my case, I'm going to browse every time to pick a file that previous that's already existing on my, on my hard drive. But you can use the scan button if you've got a scanner attached and it's supported. Um, it'll scan it directly in here and you just um, put it in there. Um, you can add a caption and a description. And then there's a couple check boxes here, um, whether you want this to be the primary photo for this person and whether you want to include it in the scrapbook or not. So I'm just going to browse to um, Victor Lamar Terry's folder here. I'm already there. Um, and I'm going to add a photo for him. So I'm just going to pick this one, 0474. So here's a picture of Victor Lamar Terry. I'm just going to click Open and then OK to add that. So we can see that this one is the preferred picture. So if we do properties here, the primary photo is the term they use because it's got this asterisk here. If we had added a caption, I'm just going to put one in here just to show you what this looks like. So I just typed in Victor. So you can see that it'll be an asterisk preceding whatever your caption is. The asterisk indicates that that is your primary photo for that person. So it's as simple as that. I want to add another one while I'm here. I'm just going to do the very same thing but with a different photo number. So let's do this one. This is a different, different view of him. And so you can see we've got two of them now. One of them has that asterisk highlighted so you can see this is the primary photo and this is not. Um, we can rearrange these photos and do other things with them that I'll cover in other screencasts. I just want to show you how to add and delete. So we've added these two. Um, let's say I wanted to get rid of one of these. I just click on it to select it and then click delete. And so we get this warning button that says remove the selected item from the scrapbook and then I click yes. Now again I'll repeat don't panic because that didn't delete the file from my hard drive. It's still there. Um, all it did is remove the link, so if I browse back to that photo, you can see um, that one is still there. Right there. So I'm going to add that back in since I do want to keep that one. Now, for some reason, I wanted to make that one my primary. I would just 
since it was selected, I can click on um, Preferences back there and then click Primary Photo, and that will change that one. So it just toggled that asterisk over here. So now, if we click OK, you'll see that photo up here for the Victor Mar Terry. I like the other photo, so I'm going to change it back. So I select that, click Properties, and then Primary Photo, and OK. And there we go. Now we've got a picture of Victor Lamar Terry there. I've also got um, pictures of uh, photos of his wife and a photo of them together. So let me show you how to put in a family photo. We're going we're gonna to select this family sheet here, and then I'm going to go up to Photos, and this time I'm going to click the Family Scrapbook. So this, you can tell up here in the title bar of this dialog box, it says Victor Lamar Terry and Ruth Goldie Landis. So you can see this is a fan. This is the family that we're editing the photos for. This is the scrapbook for. So we're going to do the very same thing. I'm going to add an image, and here I want to select. I believe it's 472. Yes, that's Gold. That's Goldie, Ruth Goldie, and and Victor Lamar. So I'm going to select Open and then OK. And so there's a photo of the two of them. That's added. And um, the other thing that I can do is I can switch to uh, Goldie Landis now. You notice I just double-clicked on, on Ruth. Um, so that's a shortcut to bring up the Edit Person um, dialog box. And one of the things that's in there is this tab of all these tabbed um, sheets. One of them is multimedia. So that's another way to get there without having to click up on the Photos button. So I'm just going to add one for Ruth Goldie Landis. So let me go up one level to get to a folder for her. Go up one more, and I should be able to go to Landis and Ruth Goldie and select one of these photos. There we go. That's the one I want. Okay, so this is a picture of Ruth Goldie Landis when she was 19 years old. Um, when she, on the day of her marriage, that was her wedding dress. I'm just going to click OK, and now we've got both of those individual photos from both of those individuals in here. Let me go back to the photos. I want to go back to Victor. And there we go. It's simple as that to add and remove photos of um, your relatives, descendants, ancestors, and collateral people within Roots Magic.